Are you listening? Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dan from GameTech and today's video is going to showcase the process of me building my new setup for gaming and recording YouTube videos. If you want to see how I redesign my basement from this craziness into this beautiful setup, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. And if you enjoyed the work that I put into this, make sure you hit that like button and why not subscribe for more content. Let's not waste any more time and roll the intro. Alright guys, so this is my old setup. I had everything uh, in my bedroom, so that was not very convenient. Uh, on the left here I had the Blue Yeti microphone on its own stand and uh, on top of the monitor the Logitech C922 camera sitting on my basic desktop monitor. Uh, I'm gonna change that to a new one. On the right hand here we have the LG 27 inch 4K FreeSync monitor. Honestly, this is the perfect monitor for the Xbox One X. Uh, also, for peripherals, I had a basic keyboard and a basic mouse. Uh, I'm not gaming. I was not gaming on it, so it didn't really matter to me. Um, then, just sitting on a desk, the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller and the Turtle Bitches headsets, Xbox One X, and the PC underneath the desk. So, yeah, pretty much that was it. Let's move to the basement now. Alright, so looking at the basement, we can see from the start that it's nothing special, but we are gonna try and transform this into a new gaming room. In the back here, we have the new desk uh, L-shape that's gonna go right there in the corner. All the lights in the room, the ceiling lights and everything is gonna be made out of hue lights. So everything will be smart and uh, controlled from the phone. A quick look at the devices that we're going to use. Again, we have the LG UHD monitor 4K FreeSync for the Xbox One X. We actually have the Battlefield 5 series Xbox One X. And we're gonna use the obviously the Elite Series 2 controller with the Steel 700 Turtle Bitches, great headsets. And uh, for recording audio and streaming, uh, we're gonna use the Yeti Blue microphone and the C922 camera. Now the color combination is not great, but there's nothing I can do about it. Those shelves are brown, so they're gonna stay that way, I'm not gonna rip them apart. Alright, so this is what we have, obviously. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. We're gonna try and make it work. Let's see what we can do about it. Let's get to work.
Alright, so at this point, my new peripherals arrived. So I decided to go with the Red Dragon mouse and keyboard combination. And I also bought a extended mouse pad from Amazon. This is from Bladehawk and uh, I paid like 15 bucks for it and I was actually surprised by the quality of it. Pretty good extended mouse pad, I have to admit. Now, the mouse, I went with the Red Dragon uh, Lone Wolf 2. It's such an amazing mouse. The RGB on it is amazing. The, the design on it is amazing. Everything, <laughs> I'm gonna say too, too many times amazing. Now the KS12 Red Dragon keyboard is amazing, it actually has an armrest that feels pretty nice. The RGB on it is great, it feels great, the bottoms are nice, the keycaps are nice. It's not mechanical, but I like it. So if you guys want to give your setup a more professional look, a better design definitely go ahead and buy yourself a RGB mouse and keyboard and why not an extending mouse pad that's a plus it really looks nice on your desk everything lights up it's pretty cool and I really love it thank you so much for watching guys the second part is coming soon now if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more content like this make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel this was Dan from Game Tech. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.